state crews with Geiger counters took readings at Kaneohe Sandbar today, testing for possible radiation after the crash of a Marine Corps helicopter in March. That test was ordered after a local environmental watchdog raised concerns about the possibility of low-level radiation from detectors on board that crasher that crashed chopper. KITV4's Dick Allgaier was there today for the testing and brings us this report from the sandbar. State crews waded across the shallow water at the Kaneohe sandbar, sweeping the area with Geiger counters. This is the location where a big Marine Corps Sea Stallion helicopter crashed in March, killing a crew member and injuring three others. The testing was conducted today because a local environmental watchdog claims the crash may have released strontium-90 from sensors in the helicopter blades. Land Board Director William Isla says because of the tide conditions, no sand was exposed today, so the tests may not be conclusive. It doesn't mean that <clears throat> it's here. It doesn't mean that it's not here. It just means at this time we're unable to test, and these conditions will um, prevail through the three-day weekends. It's a safe assertion to say that the people this weekend using Aho Laka are, are, are going to be in uh, safe conditions. It's not the best testing, but it's, it's a, an attempt. And, and I believe that what would, the ideal solution is to have the Navy or the Marines provide some equipment that would do subsurface and uh, get to the bottom of it, so to speak. Boaters at the sandbar today said they don't believe there's a problem. Me personally, I have no concerns whatsoever about coming out here any day, every day, and staying all day. So state officials say there's no evidence that there's any danger of radioactivity here at the sandbar, so it will be open for normal recreation over the Labor Day holiday. Reporting from Kaneohe Bay, Dick Allgaier, KITV4 News. A spokesman for the Marine Corps said the radiation levels from the damaged helicopter pose no significant health or environmental risk and were not of a reportable quantity.